The Windrider 17 is a small day sailor, only 17 feet long, but easily accommodates you and four of your friends. Ama spots, while not official seats, require a sense of adventure, balance, and sure footing. Small kids like ours can stay dry and contained in the center vodka. Trampoline seats are wet but offer unusual access to the water and are arguably the best spot to relax when sailing in the summer. When skippering a wind rider, you sit facing forward and move the rudder with your feet. This leaves your hands free to adjust the sail. Sitting forward is particularly helpful because it makes point of sail that much easier to learn and understand. While seated, your head is below the boom, which helps prevent injuries while tacking or jiving. This boat only weighs 400 pounds, and we tow it with our Toyota Corolla. Setup and launch of the Windrider can be completed in 30 minutes, which gets you on the water more often. It is also easy to launch and sail by yourself. The hull is made of the same lightweight material as most kayaks, making it very durable. And because it isn't fiberglass, there's no bottom maintenance ever. It is also small enough to fit diagonally inside our garage during a hurricane. The boat is fast, but the ride is smooth, even in choppy water. You are also seated very close to the water instead of five feet above it. We normally cruise around at five knots, but have gotten it up to speeds of 12. If you are just getting into sailing, a 25 degree heel can be a very unsettling position. The Windrider's heel is minimal and is almost impossible to flip over. We live on the Gulf side of Florida where almost everything is shallow and sandy. With an 18 inch draft and a molded plastic heel, we can go where we want regardless of tides. If we hit a shoal or sandbar, we hop out and walk the boat over to deeper water. We can also crash straight into a sandy beach without worrying about damage. The Wind Rider comes in a variety of bright colors like blue, yellow, and red. We can refer to our boat as the blue boat at our club since most boats are white on white with white sails. You get the idea. We don't have a motor, so when the wind dies, we get to paddle our way back home. However, the dealer sells a motor mount which can accommodate a small outboard motor or trolling motor. A brand new Wind Rider 17 costs about $10,000. Used ones hold their value well and move fast on resale listings. We also converted a powerboat trailer we found on Craigslist for about $350.